Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to take advantage of Radiant profitability right now and mine to Zerg pool and get paid out in Bitcoin. To start out you're going to need BZ Miner, so search for BZ Miner. Uh, if you're doing this in Windows, you would take the Windows version. Once it's downloaded, you just extract it like any regular file. Once it's downloaded, you just extract it, open it up, find the Radiant batch file. We're going to edit that. Uh, me personally, I'm going to add an extra line and just call it mine to Zerg pool. And then we're going to go over to the Zerg pool website. So zergpool.com. You're going to pick your region, pick the algo, which is SHA 512256. We'll find that here. Currency to be paid out is going to be BTC or whatever coin you choose, but I'll show you BTC for the sake of this video. Your wallet address is going to be your Bitcoin address. You can choose RXD, which is Radiant as the coin and name it whatever you want. I'll call this rig video test. So you're going to copy this line and we'll start by pasting it into our batch file, which was still open from the BZ miner. Uh, you're going to have to make some changes here. So I'll make sure that the exact string is in the description below. I decided not to overcomplicate it and show you exactly the things that need to be changed since this file does need to be changed quite a bit. Instead, I'll just have you paste it directly from uh, the description. You can see it's going to be BZ minor. The stratum needs to change. A couple of the flags need to change from where they were. So we'll remove this. Make sure that these other are commented out just so that it doesn't try to mine to those instead. And this is exactly what it should look like. So BZ miner dash a radiant. This is going to be your wallet address. The stratum is the Zerg pool stratum. These are the overclock settings that you absolutely need to have. Pool password. This is what Zerg pool requires. So C is going to be the coin that you're being paid out in. MC is the coin you're mining and ID is going to be your rig name. So we'll save that batch file, close it out. And now we'll run that batch file that we just created with that string in it. Clearly, it doesn't like that I put a random string of zeros in the wallet address. So this is what it would look like if you put an actual wallet address instead of just a random string that Zerkpool clearly didn't like. You see the efficiency uh, will be even better than this since I'm recording right now. It's a 3070, we're at 50 watts of power, uh, and I'm hashing at just below 600 megahertz. Um, again, very important to have these overclock settings set correctly. Uh, this is exactly what it would be for any 30 series cards. If it was a 20 series card, you would put this closer to the 200 to 250 range. If it's a 10 series card, you'd put it around the 100 range. Uh, and I'll put all of this in the description below and you'll be able to just copy paste what you need. I can't really show you what it would look like on the Zerg pool side since uh, that didn't work, but if you did have an actual wallet address. You can go to the wallet and from here you would put in your wallet address. So I put wallet 000. Um, you could add any a different wallet that you wanted to and you'll see the miner will pop up here. It'll show you your hash rates and it'll show you your progress towards getting your first payout. Payouts for Bitcoin are 0 0.0015 Bitcoin. Now this can also be done through Hive OS and I'll show you how to set that up. So you're going to want to go into your Hive OS. From here, you're going to create a new wallet.
from here you'd click on add wallet search for Zerg pool and scroll down to you see SHA-512256. In the wallet address, you're gonna put your Bitcoin address. Uh, for the username, you could put whatever you want. This is basically completely your choice. And for the source, again, you can basically choose whatever you want. I'll just put it as Zerg pool RxD and create that. Don't bother fetching wallet data, so create this wallet. And then you're gonna head on over to Flight Sheets. Coin in the tracker is going to be right here, Zerg SHA-512. Your wallet is gonna be the video test wallet we just created. The pool is going to be Zerg Pool BTC because we're getting paid out in Bitcoin. Uh, North America for myself. The miner, we're gonna select BZ miner. And then we're gonna do some extra setup in the config. Name of the flight sheet can be whatever you want it to be. We'll just name it um, Zerg RxD. Now back to the minor config. There's some specific extra config arguments you're gonna to need to put, and I'll, I'll put those in the description below. So they're a little hard to see in this window. I put them into a notepad here. This is exactly what it should look like. Um, copy and paste it exactly as is. 300 for 300 to 350 for the 30 series cards, 200 to 250 for 20 series cards, and 100 for the 10 series cards. Seems to be decent sweet spots for me. So you'll take this and paste it exactly as into the extra config arguments. Uh, if there's a mistake, it'll put it into red so you know that you can't make a mistake. And then you're going to apply changes create the flight sheet and that's it you're done just set your workers to that flight sheet and it'll start mining bitcoin for you i hope this video was helpful and if you learned something please consider subscribing it greatly helps the channel good luck everybody and stay profitable